My name is Mark Mahoney, and uh, we're here in the back room of the Shamrock Social Club on the Sunset Strip in Hollywood. I started tattooing 1977. Looking back on it, defining moments, I remember. I'm a teenager and, you know, hanging around with a little gang thing, and the older guys are going to Rhode Island to get tattooed, because in Massachusetts it was illegal. As soon as I walked into a shop, that was it. Nothing else really mattered. Basically, in those early years, the only place that I could tattoo was like at this motorcycle club's clubhouse. And, you know, the guys in the club would get tattooed, and it was cool to be a part of that. And I'm just, you know, a teenage kid, man. Moved to New York, maybe in 78, in the 77. New York was awesome. I guess it was dangerous and all of that stuff, but I never had any problem. You know, we were downtown, the Lower East Side. And I would see good tattoos I was seeing. I'd ask them, and they all came from Southern California. And there's this biker walking around, and he had these, you know, tattoos that were bright and beautiful. And I'm like, oh man, where did you get those? And the guy's like, oh, I got them at the. Pike in Long Beach. I'm like, oh, well, that's what I'm trying to do. Save some dough, move out there, you know? When I got to the Pike in 1980, there were six tattoo shops, I think, running in this one, you know, three block stretch. And obviously, the, the biggest, the baddest, the coolest, with the most old school flavor is Burt Grimm's. You know, I went in there and, you know, hey, I'm looking, you know, for a job. Do you have, you know, like, do you have any equipment? Yeah, I got everything. Okay, you go tells me, you bring somebody down here to tattoo tomorrow, and we'll see how you do. So the next day, I bring Eddie in there, and uh, I drew on a, uh, a heart, a cross, and an anchor, and I guess it's a bit like a kind of Victorian era sailor tattoo. It's pretty simple, for, you know, that big. But I just drew it on real fast, and you know, Todd and the other guys are coming in, and they, they kind of try to rattle you, you know? They like, uh, see how you work under pressure. And also from working in the clubhouse and all of that madness, it was, you know, it wasn't rattling me. But anyway, you know, I got the job, man. Todd told me afterwards that, you know, he was just impressed how fast and easily I drew it on. There was drama between all the tattoo shops. At the Pike, there was, you know, oh, fuck that guy, don't go in there, you'll get a disease, and you know, that guy's a child molester. I was walking back from lunch, and I see Todd's yelling at the guys there behind the bar, and he's at the parking lot by Burt Grimm's, and then, yeah, fuck you. And the guy takes out a gun and, and, and shoots at Todd, man, and Todd gets behind the car and shoots back. I'm like, oh, fuck, man, there's my boss right there, and, you know, I got my pistol in my pocket. I, I guess I'm supposed to, you know join the fun. So I got in behind, you know, another car and we're shooting back and forth and thank God nobody, you know, hit each other or whatever. In the meantime, I had been seeing these tattoos from Freddie Negretti and Jack Rudy and, you know, I had never seen anything like that, you know, and it was like, that's the shit I need to be doing, man. I just, that, that was a whole nother, you know, epiphany when I first saw that stuff because, as an artist, I never used any color. As a kid, you know, I'd get the 64 things of Crayolas and the black one would be this big before I even touched any of the other ones. So that was, that stuff spoke to me. Between all of these people, I was learning to do this black and gray. Well, I don't think I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything that hadn't been done before, you know, that, Great English tattooer in the 1920s had that uh, where the elite and the underworld meet on his business card, and he was tattooing royalty and you know gangsters. And I think tattooing has a, a draw where it appeals to a, a, a wide range of people. I you know that's one of the things that I like about tattooing. One of the things that I try to have at the Shamrock that it's not even though we're over here and we're close to Beverly Hills. There's still a guy in here from East LA, or a guy from Compton, or a guy from here. Every day of the week, it's a, it's the, it's the mixture that that gives a, a, a 
tattoo shop life and that's the, the cool thing about it you know I think a lot of people in the tattoo world don't really get that that that's what this is about it's two people you know, you know coming together for an hour a couple hours it's a good thing you know mm -hmm.